Merhaba arkadaşlar ben Cemal Bugün sizlerle Strange for Girls Group 2 yeni oynuyoruz arkadaşlar Ama bu sefer değişik bir çalış yapacağız sizlerle Hiç ölmemeye çalışacağız Tra Tren yolunda yapalım Haritamız tren yolu arkadaşlar Hiç ölmemeye çalışmamız gerekiyor Şu 2 milyar silah alacağım Normalde pahalı silahlar alırım Ama arkadaşlar Annem o kadar pahalı silahlar öldüğünde yani gittiği için para, paran az kaldığı için silah alamıyorsun. O yüzden 2 milyar silah aldım. Silah arkadaşlar aslında güzel bir silah. Bizim takımdan bir şey olmuş. Şu silahı ne alalım? Şimdi burası biraz gizli bir yere benziyor. Başka bir ses geliyor. Arkadaşlar ne zaman geliyor ses? Hemen şuraya gidiyorum. Şuradan direkt inelim. Bölgenin açık bir tarafına geldik ve burada bir su kişi olmuş. Ses geliyor. Üstlerden geliyor. Üstlerden geliyor. Arkadaşlar ya Gerçekten Çok kötü bir şekilde olduk Ama sekizlerimiz var Kendi takımına Nereye gidiyorum burada çok asker var Sanırım ha, Çünkü burada burada ses geliyor Şu anda da buraya geliyor Tabi hızlı bir şekilde gidelim Taban, Tabanca var ama elimde bir Tabanca güçlü arkadaşlar Arkadaşlar sadece bu oyunu oynamayacağız. Oynamayacağız tabi. Peki normalde böyle gidiyoruz mu? Buradan şuradan geliyor. Neden hep kalitesiz? 
Şimdi sıkıyorsunuz diye değilsiniz ama arkadaşlar hala daha macera olacak bana göre. Buradan direkt şey yapalım abla. Yani. Bak. Orada. Bakalım orada ne olacak? Vuramazsın, vuramazsın. Adam bak arkadaşlar. Ta adam şurada bakın. Pompalanmış. Seni tabanca mı aldı?
Он еще не чинит. Tabancamızın karnını doyuralım. Leş istiyor. İşleniyor mu? Ama bu kesinlikle işler. Öyle bir adam. Ne yapıyorsun? Arkadaşlar baş kazanın dışına çıkıyorum. Ve şimdi arkadaşlar YouTube'ya gidiyorum. Bu arada arkadaşlar Beni görmek isterseniz yorumlara yazın lütfen. Bırakın. Kendine ne? Yok lan şey ne yapıyorum? Acı. Çek. Bugün arkadaşlar bazı youtuberlar izliyor. Selam burada. We have caught a bullet ant and we have it in the glass capsule and right now Mark is filming the final round of shots and I am two, yes, two minutes away from being stung by the insect that supposedly has the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. I think it will be fine, but ooh, guys. They say this creature is not only to be avoided, but feared by all who hear its name. Over the course of 
course in the past year, I have taken on the challenge of being stung by some of the planet's most notorious insects. It all began with harvester ants, a common species in the southwestern United States that hails as having the most toxic insect venom in the world. I took around 60 stings and walked away, mostly unscathed. Today is Bullet Ant Challenge Day. I'm actually pretty excited about this. As long as we can find a bullet ant, I'm going to get stung by one. So, guys, keep your eyes peeled. These little ants can be anywhere. Well, I guess they aren't really little. They're probably about this big. So, let's head down here into the rainforest and see if we can find one. All right. Believe it or not, bullet ants are incredibly common on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. Setting a stage for a sting was only going to take a single one. It seems simple. However, finding them can be quite the challenge. Especially when dealing with some of the most difficult filming conditions we have ever faced. Oh boy, that is the disorienting thing about the rainforest. Everything looks the same, no matter what direction you turn. Mario! Yeah, all right. Okay, bottom. Ah, got nervous there for a second. <laughs> for days we scoured the jungle, traversed rushing rivers, bought torrential rainfall, and sloshed through what seemed like an endless space of mud. The goal was to find a creature no longer than a few, in a haystack that literally spanned thousands of acres. It seemed as if all was lost. And finally, after several days of searching, the sun came out, and fate took its course. I just saw an ant up on the tree here. Come up really slow. This might be a nest. You think he got a nest? I mean, the ground looks the same as it has in most of the jungle, but... There's a hole here. I definitely saw a large ant moving up on the side of that before I just storm up there. Did you see one or did you see I saw a few? one ant. One ant. But this looks like there's a hole right there. Where? You see that? This looks like it could be a nest. I don't see the hole. He went to it. Oh, I just saw there's one coming out right there. It's definitely right there. Let's see if I can get on the stick. Oh, it's going right towards my hand. That is a bullet ant right there. Hold on, I'm just going to put it in the container. Ah. Oh. Mark, watch out. Are they going on me? I think so, man. I think they're swarming. We have definitely found a bullet ant nest. There's no question about it. Um, I was in there trying to get a single ant. 
and they started swarming out. Okay, this just went from slightly dangerous to extremely dangerous because there was one who crawled up on my hand and I got startled and I flicked it off me. I need to go back and get the container we need Nope, it came off. I got one, I got one. Back up, back up, back up. It's going right towards my hand. Oh boy. Just attacking the tip of the stick. I'm going to put it down right here on the dirt. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to get in this cup. Got it. Right in. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Hold on, wait. Check your legs, check your legs. Oh, you're good. If I was that nervous just to catch the ant, I can't imagine how nervous I'm going to be to actually be stung by it. Oh, this is wild. All right, let's take the ant down here into a flatter area, get the scene under control. It's time to go through with the bullet ant challenge. Let's do it. Woo! Yes! Got it! Guys, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. We have caught a bullet ant, and we have it in the glass capsule right now, Mark. It's one of the final macro shots, and I am two, yes, two minutes away from being stung by the insect that supposedly has the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. Actually, seeing the bullet ant face to face, coyote pack, it is unbelievably intimidating. Oh. This is it. We are here. This is Costa Rica. And that, ladies and gentlemen, dare I say it, is one monster sized bullet ant. All right, before we get into this, let's just go over some basic safety. For everybody out there watching, we have taken all the proper medical precautions. What we have right here is an epinephrine pen in case my body reacts negatively to the venom. Now, I will note that there are no reported cases of humans dying from the sting of a bullet. All right, Coyote, so what's the game plan? What are you thinking here? How are we going to get you stung by the bullet? Yeah, how are we going to get me stung by the bullet? I love that question, Mark. I appreciate that. Um, okay, well, this one is very similar to the velvet. This is going to go down one of two ways. The first thing that we're going to try is I'm going to lift up the glass capsule, and then we're going to place it there. If it doesn't sting me like that, then I will use the forceps, where I will pick it up by its thorax, and just like the tarantula hawk, induce a sting. One way or another, there is no question about it, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be stung by a bullet ant. All right, time. GoPro rolling. We are rolling. All right, now what I'm going to do is tip up the glass capsule and then place the ant down onto my forearm. Here we go. Mark, your shot good? Are you sure about this? Yep, no turning back now. Mario, ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Ant on my skin. One. Two. This is it. No turning back. Three. Ant is on my forearm. Look at that. Okay, it's just trying to climb out of the glass. I don't know if it's realized it's actually on my arm. It is looking a little bit agitated. I can feel the little legs grabbing onto my skin. And right now it is just trying to get out of capsule. It's thinking, okay, something's new. It can probably sense the heat of my skin and also the smell of my skin. These ants can pick up different pheromones. We'll let it go a few seconds longer. And I think similar to the velvet ant, that this ant it's going to need to be held with forceps to induce a sting. Okay, I'm going to tip the glass capsule back up and get the ant under control. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, control. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, man. Ugh. You all right? I got the GoPro. I'm just going through your head right now. What was that like? 
I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded. Oh, the nerves that that takes, guys. When the ants were coming out of the nest, they were very, very angry. And I think at this point, the ant has calmed down and is just thinking, can I get out of this glass capsule? And I was not bitten. I was not stung. So what I'm going to do now is use the forceps to pick up the ant, place it onto my forearm, and I'm going to take a sting. Go. Ready? I'm ready. GoPro is rolling. Okay. I am literally at the summit of the insect sting pain index. So what I'm going to do now is remove the glass. Oh. It is live. Okay. It is out and active. I am going to now pick it up with the forceps. Got it. There we go. That right there is a perfect hold right on the thorax. And wow, look at that. The stinger is already flying. Uh, does that give you enough space there, Mark, to be able to see the stinger as it goes into my arm? Yes, sir. We've got clear visibility on the abdomen. Here we go. I'm going to move the little wooden base out of the way. Glass capsule is right here in frame. Forearm on the table. I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm about to take on the bullet ant challenge. Are you ready? Let's do it. One. Two. Two. Two. Oh my gosh, this is it. Three. Two. Oh, it's stuck in my arm. It's stuck in my arm. Oh, the stinger is stuck in my arm. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I think it has the trash locked up! Did you see that? The stinger was stuck into my forearm right into the vein! There is the sting insertion port right there! Oh my gosh! It is like... Now, the toxin that comes out of the sting of a bullet ant is a Panera toxin, which can cause you to hallucinate. So, I don't know how much venom actually went into my arm. All I know is that the stinger was in my forearm for a considerable amount of time. Ah, ah, oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Dude, I think my, I think my, I think my neck is having a muscle spasm, too. My whole muscle structure is, like, pounded right now. Ah, what is that? Okay, that's not good. Let's keep an eye on that. My neck is like stiffening up. My entire arm feels like it's having a spasm right now. <sighs> okay. Is it getting better or worse? No, it's worse. It's coming in waves of pain now. Ah, my gosh. It is. Hold on. I'm super lightheaded. Like super lightheaded. Some water? Uh, you're, you're like getting flushed because your face is like turning red. You're getting like puffy under your eyes. I'm sweating bullets right now. Bullets. Bullets of sweat for the bullet ant. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay composed. I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to cut the scene pretty quickly. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Okay, at the moment I'm experiencing hot radiating waves of pain. It feels as if someone has stabbed me with a hot poker. And I can actually feel the venom. It's throbbing. It's very similar to the bite of the heel monster. When I was bit by the heel monster, it was intense pain, and then it would reside, and then it would return with a vengeance. This is 
this point, the tarantula hawk was already done hurting. This is getting worse. This is getting worse. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this for 24 hours. It pumped me full of venom. This is going to be bad. It's one thing to get tagged and, you know, to be, I got stung. It's another thing to be like, I was just hoping you got that shot, Mark, where it was literally latched on.